Your girl got the new phone. Well, it's not even new anymore. I'm kind of late on the bandwagon. Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Your girl got the new phone. Well, it's not even new anymore. I'm kind of late on the bandwagon, but I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max and a lot of you guys have been requesting like a lot lately if I could do an updated what's on my iPhone because I haven't filmed one of these videos in a really long time. And honestly, I've kept my phone like organized the same way since like forever. Like I haven't really changed anything. I might have like a few new apps, but for the most part, I feel like if you look at my old iPhone videos, it's pretty much the same thing. But we're doing an updated one because I have the 15 now. Also, peep my little jelly cat donut. She's my little special guest of the video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be showing you all the apps I love, how I organize my phone, and just what I do because I use this thing every single day of my life. But before we get into it, here's a word from today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring this video. You guys already know how much I love Casetify. I've been using their products for years now and they never disappoint. And one of my favorite products of theirs are their bounce cases. They have the best protection. They have these bounce corners, which gives them 21 points three feet drop protection, eco shock protection technology, a raised bezel for screen protection, and wireless charging and MagSafe compatibility. Personally, these phone cases are a must. I'm constantly on the go with my phone at school, dance, and work, always taking pictures and videos. And I can be a little clumsy and drop my phone sometimes, so these case by bounce cases literally save me. I just got these four new cases for my new phone, so I wanted to show you guys. The first one that is currently on my phone is this one with a bunch of kisses all over it, and I also added a case by phone charm on it as well. Then the next bounce case I got is in this muted blue color. I think this is really pretty and could go with a lot of outfits. Next, I customized this one to say Coley in this purple font and then some hearts. The selection on Case Spice website is so wide. You'll definitely find a bunch of colors and designs that you'll love. And then last but not least, I got this clear case with this like purple to blue ombre. And now to really test the drop protection of these bounce cases, we're going to do a drop test. I'm currently at my staircase with my brand new phone and we're going to drop it in three, two, one. Ah! Moment of truth. It survived! <laughs> now that you guys have seen that Casefy bounce cases are not only cute but have the best protection, you can go to casefy.com slash nicolino now and get your new favorite phone case. Thank you so much to Casefy for sponsoring this video and now let's get back into it. Okay, so here is my new phone. First, let me just take off the case real quick to like show you guys. Ugh, it's beautiful. This is the 15 Pro Max and I did get the white color. I know a few of you might be surprised that I didn't get the pink color, but they didn't have a terabyte in storage in the pink color. So I got a terabyte in this white color. And this is still so, so pretty. I feel like a lot of the times I have a clear case. So like, it just, I don't know. I really like it. And then of course my case is from Caseify. You guys already saw it has these kissy lips and then my phone charm. I've had this one for a while and it's so, so cute. But now time to show you guys what's actually on my phone. I'm gonna scoot over here and we'll get started. Okay, welcome to my phone. Here is my lock screen. I love this picture so, so much. If you've seen my other iPhone videos, you guys have probably seen this photo, but we were in the Philippines in Barakay and my dad thought it'd be funny if he held coconuts over my mom. And I just think it's hilarious. They're my best friends. I love them. So they're my wallpaper. I don't think I'm gonna change it anytime soon either. Cause like nothing will beat this picture in my opinion. You can customize your wallpapers now. So like over here, I have the weather, the app for my car, and then also the battery for my Apple watch. So those are my little widgets on my lock screen and then when you enter my phone here we are i only have two pages i've always used folders to organize all of my apps and i'm the type of person that doesn't like notifications like you know like the red notifications i can't stand them so i will always just clear them and make sure my phone looks like this because it looks so clean to me okay but first of all i don't know if you can you can't really see it but my home screen is a picture of sadie it's like a 0.5 of her her eyes are like really big and her mouth is so i just think it's really funny so that's my background and then the first page this is just like everything that apple already comes with so we have like phone face I'm set. Whatever, I'm not gonna read them all. I do use the ones I have out though, pretty much every single day, like notes, maps, calculator, you know, all that. And then I have this folder with a little Apple icon to put all the rest of the apps, which are a lot. There's so many. These are kind of color coded. I tried. I don't know though. I don't really go into this folder anyway. Oh, and then also my little widget is from CoStar, which I'll talk about later when we get to that app. But the app comes with like a day at a glance every single day. So it just gives me like one sentence and today's was set a timer. It's random, but sometimes it like low key makes sense with what I'm going through in life. So I'm like, yo, what the heck? And then at the bottom, these are the apps that I use every single day. Like for sure I open these apps. So I have my little folder here and the icon is a little heart. Surprise, surprise. It's like all my social media apps because I go on social media every single day. First we have 
love Instagram. I've been posting actually like a lot this year so far. I try to post my story pretty much every single day. And this is where you can find a lot more dance content. Here's like one of my recent ones from Dexter's class. And then just like more photos, I guess. I don't know. It's a little different from what you get on my YouTube channel. Then we have Snapchat and I did buy Snapchat Plus. So that's why the icon is a little different because there's like a whole selection of different icons that you can get. And of course I chose the pink one. It's so cute to me, but I use Snapchat pretty often. This is where I like talk to all my friends and also post a lot on my story. I try to post every single day on my Snap too. And a lot of the times I'll do like a little Q and A with you guys. So if you haven't added me already, go ahead and add me if you want. But yeah, I'm pretty much on this thing like a good amount. Then we have YouTube. Obviously, I love this app. I'm also constantly on YouTube, not only uploading, but also watching other creators. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post every single Tuesday and Friday at 12 p.m. PST, but I love YouTube. Go ahead and comment some of your favorite YouTubers to watch because I love when I can just like sit in bed or even just like put it on in the background and watch a good and fun video. Next, we have Spotify and here's a look at like a bunch of playlists that I have. Some of them I've like subscribed to, but some of them are mine. Love Spotify, definitely use this every single day too, whether I'm driving to school, going to the gym, just in my room, in the shower jamming. I try to make a playlist every single month and just random ones when I feel like it. So if you want some new music, you can check my playlist out. And then we have TikTok. <laughs> I spend a good amount on TikTok and I don't want to reveal how much because it's like a little embarrassing. Let's just say I could definitely spend a lot less time on this app, but it's so addicting. Like I just find myself in bed, like especially before I sleep, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just watch a few TikToks. Like an hour passes. I'm like, where did the time go? But it's cool because I've tried to curate my feed or like the people that I follow to be more positive and like productive, you know, like the content that I actually want to watch. But yeah, TikTok, I just post like random stuff like when I'm with my friends or like random TikTok dances. This app is really fun too, so. Okay, those are all the socials in this folder. By the way, you can find me on all of those at Nicole Aino. Okay, next we have the Tesla app. This is just what I use to control my car and stuff. And then we have the Holy Bible, probably my favorite app on my phone. I've talked about this app so many times on my channel, but I will mention it forever and ever and ever. My favorite part of the app is the daily refresh, which is here on the homepage. And it basically just comes with this verse of the day, a guided scripture, and then a guided prayer. And you guys, oh, I'm so, I'm literally so mad at myself. I had a streak going like over 50 days from the start of 2024. So like January 1st, I had a streak going. You can see right here, the daily refresh streak. It's back to one. I accidentally like forgot. I didn't put it on my to-do list and like, I just didn't check my Bible. I'm not sweating it anymore. I've, <laughs> I was just so disappointed, but it's okay. We're starting over as long as we keep trying. It's okay. Anyways, today's verse of the day is when I am afraid I put my trust in you from Psalms 56, three. I try to go on my bubble app every single morning, like when I'm getting ready, because it's just the best feeling when I like start my day with God and also gratitude because during the guided prayer, it'll give you like prompts to answer and stuff to talk about. So I don't know. I just find it really nice. If you're ever looking for a way to get closer with God or something to help your faith journey, totally recommend this app. There's also plans where there's a bunch of different categories and just like multiple day plans where you can like listen in there's devotionals and different verses and overall just love this app and have totally found a difference in like my spiritual journey so that's that then we have my notion apps as you guys know i'm a big fan of notion love them so so much and of course i have to have them on my phone because i check them every day so first is the regular notion app and this is where i have my life planner but i just love it like look at the aesthetic of all this like flowers and pink it makes me happy especially since i go on it all the time like you want to make sure that you like what you see and then also i have the notion calendar which is new but it's been super helpful lately as you can see here i have my nail appointment in about an hour but yeah like i said i use these two apps well this whole folder every single day but those two are literally what keep me productive and like on top of my stuff so of course i have to have those and that's everything in that folder now we will scroll to the second page which has a lot a lot of apps first of all my three widgets that i have on the screen just some pictures of me and my family and my friends so we have this top one which is me and my family and we took that in bali which is like one of our favorite vacations that we've ever taken Ugh. Like literally, I love that trip so much. And then I also have a picture of me and Maddie and then a picture of me and my girls, Addie, Rishi, and Sid. I just love those photos and every time I look at them, I smile. So I haven't really changed them in a little bit too. Maybe I will if I like find some other cute photos that I would want on my screen. But as of right now, these are the photos that I have. Okay, and then now we move on to all of these folders. So I have eight in total. We have social, editing, school, shopping, games, entertainment, productivity, and travel. There's a good amount in each of them. So I won't talk about every single app, maybe just my favorites. All right, starting with the social folder. So this is basically like other social medias or like apps that pertain to the social media app that I don't really use as often as the ones I already showed. So first we have YouTube Studio. This is a really good app for creators just to check like your analytics or comments or other stuff about your channel. So I check that pretty often. We also have IGTV. Oh my gosh, I haven't used that app 
in a while. Wait, why did I like low-key forget it? What is? Is this like still an app? Okay, well, we're moving on. <laughs> Next we have Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It's just fun to scroll on this app. Like finding photos that like match my aesthetic. Ugh. It's amazing. I've created so many different boards just about like different things in my life. And it's definitely super, super helpful when I'm making like a wallpaper of stuff. I can just like pull different photos, save them to my laptop and like make a collage. Super fun. I love Pinterest. Next we have Be Real. This app has Loki kind of died. Like, sorry, I'm just gonna say it. It was super popular like a few, no, maybe a year ago, a few months ago. I don't know. I sometimes use it. Like I still get the notification, but I'm not as like, oh, I need to post my Be Real. You know, that's just there if I like feel like doing it. Next we have X, which is Twitter. You can also find my username at Nicole I know there too, but I don't use it as much. I usually just post like when I post a new video, I'm like, oh, check out the new video. Same thing with Facebook. That's at Nicole Leno, but I usually just use that to like cross post with Instagram. So whatever on my Instagram feed will be on my Facebook. Then we have Facebook Messenger, which is like the DM app for that. WhatsApp, which is what I use to communicate with my family in the Philippines at the moment. Bitmoji. I think I only have this because of Snapchat. Like you can change your Bitmoji so that there's like stickers on Snapchat. And then the other page, I have Zoom, Google Meets, Slack, Discord, and threads those first four are for like meetings and other business things <laughs> well discord not really i only have discord because my two boy cousins on my dad's side they made a group chat with me and christian so that's how we text each other on a discord chat and then threads is another instagram app okay and that's it for social moving on to editing these are just different picture and video apps we had visco i used to have a subscription and like get the all access filters or whatever but i stopped that because i don't really edit my photos anymore i kind of just like post them how they look they do have some cute filters though next we have layout which is for Instagram. Bonto, which is an app that I use to make my thumbnails for YouTube. It's super helpful. That's just how I put like text on my photos. And then we have Canon Selfie, Mini Prints, and Camera Connect, all different for Canon devices. So the Selfie and Mini Prints, those are for like the Selfie Square and the Ivy Click. And then Camera Connect, you can connect to your digital camera. So let's say after this video that I'm filming, I could connect it to my phone and download this exact video to my phone that I just filmed. It's super neat. I love Canon. I also have Videorama, which is like an editing app, but I don't really use that because I can just edit my videos either on my laptop or like other apps on my phone. Dropbox, which is used to like transfer files. I use that actually a lot when I work with brands and stuff. Studio, I use that to crop things for my thumbnails. The next page, GoPro, which con <laughs> connects to my GoPro. Duh. CapCut, I downloaded that just because of TikTok and they have like templates and stuff. And then DJI Mimo, that's another camera that I connect with. And then lastly, Magic Eraser. This one's actually pretty cool. There's like a setting on there that if you want to remove a background of a picture, like let's say I'm trying to remove a background and just get the purse, it'll like do it and it's pretty cool. And then moving on to school. <laughs> This one's so boring, like, basically just all the Google apps. So Drive, Docs, Slides, Classroom, Chrome, Gmail, um, Power School. Oh, hello. We're so bright now. Sorry, my camera's adjusting. Power School, that's where I check all of my grades. Quizlet, love Quizlet. Schoology, that's like kind of Google Classroom. I don't know why we switched over to using that. It's like low-key annoying. <laughs> and then I also have Photo Math and Calc Chat, which I use for math. So yeah, I guess I often use this folder as well, just for like assignments and stuff. But then we have shopping. Your girl loves to shop. Well, actually I love shopping for food because if you see this whole second page is just all food. But the first page we have Amazon, Starbucks, Coffee Bean, Wells Fargo, Yelp, Poshmark, Postmates, Goat, Sephora. Just like random places that I shop at. I definitely use Amazon the most. Love Amazon. And then the second page, we have DoorDash, Chick-fil-A, Target, Crumble, Einstein Bros, McDonald's, Grubhub, Domino's, and Ralph's. You can totally tell I'm a foodie. Yeah, I'll just use these apps sometimes if I want to like order takeout or delivery. And then moving on, we have games. <laughs> you guys, I have so many games on my phone. Like I feel like for an 18 year old girl, you wouldn't expect her to have this many games, but I do. I'll just tell you a few of my favorite ones. Pokemon Go, I was obsessed with a few years ago. I don't really open it anymore, but I definitely love that app. Farmville 2, I was also obsessed with that app, but not so much because it's kind of time consuming. Um, Let's see, Minecraft, we have some of the Ellen games. I love playing Heads Up or Psych at amusement parks when I go with my friends. It just makes the lines go by so much faster. Space Team, Among Us, Helix Jump is fun, Miraculous. I don't know if y'all remember my Miraculous phase, but if you don't know about it, it's basically the super cute kids TV show. I was obsessed with it. It was so cute and they have an app. So sometimes I play with that. And then we have Matchmaker. That one's fun. Amaze, that one's fun. Icing on the cake, Riddle Master, Stair Run, Paper Fold, Water Sort. Water Sort is fun. I was stuck on this one level for the longest time, you guys. It was so annoying, but I I got it, so it's okay. <laughs> Word Us, that's just like, um, what is that called? 
Wordle. Stumble Guys, Cody Cross, Poker Face, Airplane Chefs, Cooking Fever. My latest favorite game has been Airplane Chefs, but I'm also stuck on a level right now that I literally can't. And like, sometimes I just don't have the brain power. Okay, anyways, <laughs> enough game talk. I don't play games like too often on my phone. It's just like when I download it, I won't delete it. So they kind of just sit there. But like, sometimes I have a lot of fun. Moving on to entertainment, we have Disney Plus, Prime Video, HBO Max, Netflix, you know, just all the streaming services that my family pays for. Disneyland, Universal, Knott's Berry Farm. Those are amusement parks. Ticket master that's for like buying tickets for concerts goodreads that's where you can see all the books that i've read my goal for 2024 is literally just one book a month but i think it was maybe my sophomore year i was reading like five books a month and like that's how i kept track of all of them and like i could rate them and stuff and then oh and then this page just has wait what oh hbo max switched over to max for some i don't know confusing okay then we have productivity. Let's see, I have Google Photos, Time Tree, which is another calendar app, but now I use Notion Calendar. Flow, that's to track your period. All my girlies out there. CoStar, okay, this is the app that I was talking about earlier. This is like horoscope, zodiac sign stuff. You put all of your information, like when you were born and stuff, and supposedly when all the stars or planets, that's how they were aligned. This is like, it'll just tell you random stuff about yourself. Do bow ties, belt buckles, hardware, don't hit a wall, walk backwards, low standards. And it's asking me, are you looking for validation? I don't know. Again, sometimes it like actually relates to my life and I'm like, yo, what the heck? But then other times I'm like, mm, that doesn't really make sense. Moving on, we have Arrange Us. If anyone's like choreographing or like creating a dance, I totally recommend this app. I choreograph for my high school's dance team and I use this app just to like see it and visualize it. And then when I went to practice and I was prepared and everything. Widget Smith, which is how I made all the widgets on my phone. Screen Logic, that's how we control the hot tub at our house. Venmo, Amazon Alexa. Zell, Ring, Sleep Cycle, Member Mobile. That's the app that I use for my current gym right now. And that's how I like sign in and sign up for classes. And then 24, which is my old gym that I used to go to. Okay, almost there. Last but not least, we have travel. First we have Waze. And personally, I'm an Apple Maps girly like the one on my phone already, that one. Comment down below, are you an Apple Maps or Waze <laughs> type of person? Waze sometimes has some good routes or whatever. I just, I just like Apple Maps. Life 360, that's how my family and I know where each other is at all the time. I also have a circle with my friends too, so I have their location. And then Google Maps, I don't use that. Playground, Millennium, What Moves You, those are all studios in LA and that's how I book classes and sign up. And then lastly, Disney Cruise, cause I went on one, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. Okay, and that's everything on my phone. All right, you guys, and that's going to be it for this What's on My iPhone updated version. I think the last time I filmed one was maybe two years ago, like during sophomore year when I had the iPhone 13. I've only had this for like literally two days, so I'll let y'all know on like how I like it. Most of the times, like, let's be honest, I feel like <laughs> there might not be a lot of changes, but we'll see. Maybe I might love the new cam- I don't, e I don't even know what's new with it, but yeah, it's always nice to like- have an upgrade and have like a fresh new phone because obviously with social media being my job and everything I'm like constantly taking photos and videos so I'm very grateful to be able to have this but comment how y'all organize your apps on your phone if you're more into folders or kind of just having them out thanks again to case5 for sponsoring this video make sure to go to case5.com slash nicolino and get your new favorite phone case but yeah if you say till the end of this video comment down below the phone emoji thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed make sure to like and comment down below subscribe to my channel subscribe to the family channel and turn on all the post notifications I'll see you guys back with another the video. I love you guys so, so much. Stay positive. Bye!